hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video i would like to show you how to send emails with attachments using node mailer and amazon ses service i have opened my project uh, inside uh, vs code you can see currently i have a dot env file so this contains uh, three environment variables so we will fetch this information from uh, amazon uh, dashboard and you can observe there are uh, two files one is image and one is a pdf file so we will be using this uh, documents and we send this as a attachment for our mail so first of all you are supposed to go to amazon console and uh, here you can create your account and uh, once you sign up you can uh, log in and this is my dashboard so i have logged in as a root user i have ability to create uh, users inside my account so let's go inside it you can see this is my dashboard under uh, left hand side you can see access management you can find users section i have a user created so we are going to create a new one so you can click on add user okay so you can give a name you can uh, leave this uh, checkbox we can go ahead and uh, click on next so we need to attach a policy so select this option and find for scs so amazon scs full access so we need this in order to send uh, uh, mail from scs service so click on next okay create user all right so the user was created successfully so let's uh, go inside this user so you can click on this one so here you need to go to security credentials here we need to generate uh, access keys right so under uh, access key section create access key so you can choose the other option click on next create access key so now we have the access key and the secret uh, access key so let's copy these things so inside dot env file let's provide these values All right, so now we have access keys and uh, region also. So this is my region value. How you can find is like, so if you go to Amazon uh, simple email service, so how you can navigate is you go, if you go to the home page. So here it is showing me they recently visited. Uh, so here you can uh, see the Amazon simple email service or you can also search for uh, SCS like this. So let's navigate to inside it. Okay, so this is my dashboard and here you, if you observe my location is in Mumbai like uh, some of the services are only available in certain uh, locations. So here I'm inside uh, Mumbai region. So that's why uh, it, uh, it is using that. So this is my region value. So if you are in other regions, so make sure you get your uh, region value like this. So inside uh, SES uh, dashboard, uh, you need to observe one thing. So you can see my SES account is in sandbox, uh, right? Because of this, there are some limitations. Like uh, you can see there are only 200 emails you can send. And also if you want to make use of it for production, then you need to request for production access. And there is one more uh, constraint here if you are in sandbox. So that is like you can only send mails only to the verified identities. For example, in the configuration section, you can go to verified identities, right? So uh, currently I have uh, one verified identity. So you can only make use of this email to send email. And also uh, like uh, if you have other email address verified, so you can send email to that particular address. So this restriction is uh, because of uh, being in the sandbox. So sandbox is uh, only for testing your applications. So once you want to deploy to the production, so you are supposed to raise a request for the production access. Okay, so I will show you how to create an identity. So here if you observe, so first of all, we need to create an identity. So you can click on uh, create identity. And here you can see there are two options. One is the domain and the other is email address. So you can have domain emails, right? Or else you can also uh, make use of your own email address. So in my case, I'm choosing this option. So you can provide your email address here and then you can simply click on create identity. So once you create it, uh, it will take you to dashboard so you will come here and then what happens is uh, it will amazon will send a verification email to the email address you mentioned and once you are inside uh, verified it so you will get a status of verified like this i hope uh, you have verified your uh, sender identity so once this is done uh, so let's go back to account dashboard and let's start with the coding part so let's create a file send mail dot js file so here we need to install uh, certain packages like I will be making use of uh, AWS uh, 
SDK client SES package and also like I will be making use of a node mailer npm package what is node mailer it is a module so where you can send emails for your uh, node.js applications and uh, you can use different uh, SMTP transport providers so here SES becomes a transport provider so let's start installing these packages so I have opened up windows terminal on my project uh, directory so here we will be installing node mailer as well as uh, SES uh, client package and also I will need a dot env package because we will be using environment variables so let's install this so let's leave this aside uh, let's come back to the code base so first of all so let's import this uh, packages so you can see I'm importing node mailer and we are uh, calling config uh, function from dot env because we need to access uh, environment variables right and then we will be making use of path also uh, so I will come back to this uh, in a moment and you can see I'm importing client SES uh, package from AWS SDK so the next thing is so here you can see I'm destructuring the environment variables from process.env so these are the uh, three variables access key secret access key and SES region and the next thing is we need to create a service object so here you, you can see like from AWS package we are calling SES constructor and providing this object uh, properties so API version region and the credentials so access key and secret key so the next thing is we need to create a transporter so we need to create SES transporter using the node mailer uh, using the node mailer we are calling the create transport method and we are passing an object with property SES and again this is an again pro object that contains two properties one is SES which is nothing but this uh, client and the other one is AWS so this is package from client SDK alright so let's create a function for sending mail so uh, this will be a async function before implementing like I mean I will also add here so we need to make sure to call this at the end of the function definition so let's start implementing the function so let's open a try catch block if, a, if there is any error I will simply log it we need to create the mail options So here I will explain uh, what are the properties here. So first part is uh, from address. Uh, here you can see I'm just providing the name. So this will show in the mail uh, like instead of uh, uh, email address. Uh, so it will display the name of the sender and uh, you should provide your sender mail address. Uh, in as a value to this address property so the two address will be list of uh, receivers so here we are sending uh, to the same mail right because we have verified only one uh, mail address that's why our sender and receiver are same so the subject will be test email with attachments so this will be the text version and also the this is the html like if it fails to render html version then it will fall back to the text version so the important part here is attachments so here you can see there are uh, two attachments so two Two objects and each object contains file name and then path to the file so here you, we are using the path module and uh, we are providing the full path uh, right absolute path so using the directory name so this will give us the directory path and then followed by the name of the file uh, okay so the content type will be if it is a pdf application slash pdf if it is a image then image slash jpg so the next thing is uh, we need to send a mail right here using the transporter which we have created uh, here so we we need to call the send mail method on the transporter by passing the mail options which we have created here so here you can see the, i'm using await uh, because this will return a promise so we we can handle it by using async await approach once this is successfully executed then uh, we can print the logger information so email sent with a message id all right so let's save this so before sending the mail i would like to show you the mail address so here you can see i do not have any mails from uh, ses okay so let's try sending one Alright, so now I have received a logger information, emails and successfully with the message ID from SES. Okay, now I can also see there is a mail received from my mail address. Let's make it as safe. So here you can see this is the name that I'm talking about. And then you can see it is coming from SES mail server and uh, this will be our uh, HTML body and then followed by the two attachments. So this is our mail subject. 
this is uh, about the video guys uh, so you can see we have uh, installed uh, packages like uh, node mailer and client scs uh, sdk from uh, amazon initially uh, like we have created a user from amazon uh, i am user with scs uh, policy and then we have created a scs client using these uh, properties after that we have created a transporter and then using the transporter we have uh, sent a mail I hope the video is uh, helpful do like share comment and subscribe to the channel thank you for watching i will meet in the another video until then take care bye